I like to cut the berries from five sumac trees in my backyard, but they are getting too tall. I've heard that I can prune them right down to ground level and they will regrow. Should I do this late winter or early spring while dormant? Will this work? This is Dee from Buffalo, New York. Buffalo, New York. Buffalo, New York. So she wants to cut down the five sumac trees. She likes the berries. Yeah. So I, when is I, the best time to do that? I want to talk about these berries here in a minute, Hots? too. Okay, okay. I would cut these down when it gets cold. Okay. Yeah, and, and let them, uh, the nutrients drop down from the canopy down into the root system. And then when you cut them at the ground, it'll have more energy stored to shoot up shoot new up. growth. Right. And then manage the canopy as they get older. I, I've done this before. Okay, good, good. Uh, manage the canopy and don't allow them to get tall. So bring them back down to a lateral after they bloom, you know, and just work on keeping them short instead of letting them get too tall. Okay, let's do this in the winter time though, Ms. D. Yes. Right. Winter time. Yes. Okay. Now mm -hmm. let's talk about those berries. The unique thing about the, when, when you read that the, these were in New York, right. I met, you, you know, we risk being in the tree business for so many years, mm -hmm. you know, we run across a lot of wild beehives. And so instead of just cutting them and leaving them on the ground or something, we would call beekeepers to come out and collect the, the honeybees that we've removed from the tree. Okay. Um, the sumac in New York is what he put in his smoker ah. to create the smoke to distract the that. bees and to collect the, the, the queen. Huh. So that's what was really unique about the sumac from New York. I've tried to use oh, the sumac the flowers that we have down here and it just didn't work the same. I don't know what the difference is. But uh, that's the unique thing about those berries. Never knew that before. That's yeah. good. Now, one other thing about cutting on the sumac. The sumac is in the cashew family. Okay. okay. Which includes mangoes and poison ivy. Yes, ivy. And yep. so that sap is milky. And if it gets on you. It can irritate it, your skin. It could. And it's mm -hmm. going to, it may, it may. I'm not saying that it will. But mm -hmm. it may uh, treat you just like poison ivy will. Okay. So be cautious. Wear your gloves and long sleeves. Thanks for watching the video. We hope you enjoy it. To subscribe, click below.